feel like, oh, that's an Instagram moment now. <laughs> <laughs> and we were actually, uh, the last post was, um, Salome has a, a DVD from a friend. He was a, a ballet teacher at uh, Sydney or some, some ballet uh, company in Australia. And he just made a, a, a DVD, a tutorial DVD for Pilates. So we listen to him every time I go to Zurich and I work with Salome. We just we do the warm up with uh, with this DVD and it's very funny because we hear his voice and he's telling us all those stupid. This is an endurance. This is an endurance uh, exercise. You have, to, you have to be strong or something like that. And we're like, oh, yes, we are strong. So. Yeah. And how much do you practice now per week? Every day, every day I go. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. And all price? Um, it depends if I'm in Switzerland or not. But if I'm in Switzerland, I try to work out two times a week. Yeah. I like to, every day I like to go on the ice and I like to work out. I like to, sometimes I, I go for a run or sometimes it, you'd know that I hate routine. So it's good that right now my life is not a routine. Every week is different. From the, young together would you like to work with them mm, I, a young skater she's already in the in the circuit but I, I really 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 love Caitlin Osman I love her personality and uh, that's one of, of the skaters that I love to work with according to Japanese figure skating manager and the coaches are very really magically influenced by your skating during your stay in Vienna in July. Can you please tell us your experience? It was a great experience. I was so impressed uh, with, the, with the education of the kids. They were very motivated and very smart. Well, of course, it was a selection. It was not all skaters. It was a selection from the from the Japanese Federation, and it was the best skater of Japan. But they were so educated, so motivated. And, uh, every time I would give an advice, they would immediately understand. They are so connected to all the cells of their bodies, and uh, for me, it was a big pleasure to work with them. Um, I really hope I can work again next next season. It's fun, and I discover new talents from Japan. Great, yes. thank you. What uh, what is it that you want to share with them uh, in first line? Because I understand that technically they are very good. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think needs to be added? To I their think good what level? needs to be added is the freedom. Right now, there are uh, so many rules that the skating becomes like a, like a, a computer. Like the skater has to be a computer with so many buttons and so many uh, options, and you, it becomes um, the personality goes away, and we just have the protocols. Like you don't even need to watch a program; you just need to watch the protocol, and you already know seeing the protocol you know the program so what I when I'm working with them I I'm just trying to give them uh, the feeling of skating what is skating it's you don't need to do a triple jumps to 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 be happy or, or to be satisfied you can do one hour session without any jump without any speed and just to feel the wind on your face and just to do a beautiful inside edge it's, I feel like flying and if you imagine yourself somewhere you can really really develop something different than being on the ice and being working on the technique of course you need the technique of course you need to be able to do all those things but at the same time you need to enjoy the, 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 the sport and right now it's really hard to enjoy it because, because of all this judging system, it becomes kind of restrained. He also worked with Japanese skaters in Armenia, with like more grown up uh, teams which yes. go to Olympics. Can you tell me more about your work with the 
I was in Armenia, I don't remember when, but a few weeks ago, um, with uh, Tatsuki, Nobunari, Akiko and Satoko. And we were working on, again, we were working, at the beginning we just worked on uh, edges, on flying on the ice. It's not skating, it's really flying. You just follow the music and just let yourself go. It's not just here, it's really... <laughs> I just want them to, to have this feeling and uh, that's what I was trying to do really to reach the seal, the, 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 the ciel, to reach everything, to reach the, the pleasure, yes. And then we were working also on programs, Akiko has beautiful programs, short and long, they are, I was uh, very impressed with, with her. Who is the choreographer? Uh, her short pro I don't know if she already La opened Rose. La Vie en Rose and the longest phantom of the, mm -hmm. of the opera and both programs suit her very well and Tatsuki we worked uh, so he kept uh, Firebird mm -hmm. and he has uh, East Eden for short program it's also very dramatic and um, I think it was his choice so I, I, could, I can see that because it's his choice, it's very personal, and he puts so much energy, and he's out there and expressing himself, and that's that's what I want. Mm -hmm. If they choose the music, if they are in the process, it's always more efficient. That's if the choreograph comes, put the music, and say you have to do this, 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 and, and then it's not personal. And there, I was so happy because last year I really worked on him, trying to give him so many advice, trying to give him so many informations. And I think now he digested all these advices, and now he can finally be what he is. And that, that I'm, I'm so happy with it. It gives me. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to be in Sochi in any room? I don't think so. No. 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 I have to prepare for Artonize, and for me, it's it's very important. I'll have probably two programs to prepare, and if I go to Sochi, it's. Are you going to sing again at Artonize? I. We didn't talk about that yet, yet. but, uh, but, but do, you want? To. do you want to? If I have a good song, why not? Yes. <laughs> would you like to sing? Next Sorry? Time? With whom would you like to sing next time? With whom? Yeah, with what what status? Uh, if you can imagine yes. any yes. singer, choose. Any singer? We will mm -hmm. arrange it. Really? <laughs> I don't know. I, I love, I've just, I went to the Zurich Open Air and I saw James Blake. And I, I fell in love with this guy. He's unbelievable. I would love. Him. He's electro, kind of electro uh, singer, but very impressive. Or I don't. I like Paolo. I would. I would like to sing with Paolo. Yes, I like him. I in the category most of the great character of the world. There is again one character, maybe of the past or actual character, which uh, you would make a special. To skate together? Yeah, to together. Like, but together at the same time or? In the show. In the show. Um, There is, he's not he's, he's not alive, but there is one guy that I was just watching some videos. His name is Robert Wagenhofer. He was skating probably in the 80s, and unfortunately he passed away. But he has a very special way of skating, and it looks to me, it looks um, not old. When I watch his videos, his skating looks so avant-garde, and I was very impressed with what he was doing. Yeah, you should check.